The Virginia Military Institute's 1968 yearbook is one of many confronting reminders of America's painful past. Alongside racial slurs against Jewish, black and Asian students are images of people dressed in blackface. Its editor was a young Tommy Normand, who is now Virginia's Senate Majority Leader. I was part of the management team and I accept that part of, of responsibility. Um, and the perspective of today, it, it is absolutely unacceptable and, and it's reprehensible and I'm sorry that, that people are hurt. Virginia Republicans were claiming a moral victory this week when a blackface scandal left the state's Democratic leadership on the verge of collapse. But this latest chapter now has Senator Normand facing calls to resign. Do you think you should step down? Absolutely not. The scandal erupted when a picture from a 1984 yearbook of Virginia's Governor Ralph Northam surfaced, showing students wearing blackface and a Ku Klux Klan uniform. While Mr Northam apologised for the photo, he denied he was in it, but then admitted wearing blackface on another occasion. I did participate in a dance contest in San Antonio in which I darkened my face as part of a Michael Jackson costume. I look back now and regret that I did not understand the harmful legacy of an action like that. No! 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 Mr Northam is also refusing to resign. At one stage, Virginia's Attorney General urged him to do so before he too revealed he once wore brown makeup to a party. White Americans blackening their faces to mimic people of African descent dates back centuries. While the practice is less common now, analysts say it persists in some areas as evidence of racism. I think it's going to take some time to move past it. This is the perfect opportunity to engage in those dialogues that use blackface minstrelsy as an example of how race has functioned in this society and how it continues to curtail us for really treating each other fairly. But it's not just an issue in the United States. Italian fashion giant Gucci has been forced to pull this woolen sweater from its stores after receiving complaints it resembled blackface makeup. In a statement, the company apologised for any offence adding they would turn the incident into a powerful learning moment. Manny Tsigas, ABC News.